What's going on everyone? It is Garrett and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial talking about duo tones and this is going to be a brief video about them, who uses them, and then of course how to make them. So if you're here for the video just for the tutorial sake on making them then skip to the time on the screen right now. If you guys want to learn a little history about them and know who uses them now then stay tuned it's only going to be about a minute or two of me talking about this. So very quickly I do want to talk about what a duo tone is. So um, duo means two and tones is basically colors. Now a duo tone is two tones of colors taking over like the highlights and shadows in the image you can see on the screen right now. It's made up of this kind of magenta and blue. Now there are a different versions of this. There's monotones which is going to be one color, tritones and quad tones. Now I'm going to show you guys how to access these in Photoshop in the video. However we're only going to be focusing on duo tones. Now, to give you guys a few examples of way back when in the Civil War, when photography was just becoming a thing, these images were taken in duo tones. So there's only two tones of colors, and you can see that it's very rustic and it's very like almost that black and white feel, but it does have a little bit of color. Now those are duo tones. Now if we fast forward to 2017, a lot of companies are very notorious for doing this. So a few of them are going to be Spotify. They started doing duo tones of famous people, like such as Kendrick Lamar, um, Lana Del Rey, Frank Ocean, a bunch of people. It was like a whole rebrand they went through. Recently, Apple Music has started doing it as well. And then even like sport companies such as Adidas, Nike, and stuff like that, they've all done it in the past. So the question is now, how do we do it and what can we do with this? So right now on the screen, you guys are going to see the image that I'm using. It has my own gradient map on top of it. Now there are multiple ways to do this, we're going to be going over two. The first one's a little bit more confusing and the second one's honestly the most easiest. We're going to go through the first, the hardest though, get that right out of the way. So what you want to do really quickly is find an image you want to use. Now you need to find an image that has a neutral background. I found this image from my friend's website, Alex, you guys can definitely check him out in the description below. He's a really awesome um, photographer and logo designer and you guys can basically just check him out. Now you really want to focus on getting an image with the background that's either straight up white, straight up black, or just a straight tone. Now, personally, I like when it has a little bit of something in it, like windows, but you don't want an image that has like a forest or like a busy street or something like that because it's not going to look correct. Now, if you really want to find an image off Google to do this with, just head over to it and type in white wall portrait photography. Now, this is basically going to give you an image of someone that's standing on a neutral background. and the one I'm going to be using right here is this girl and basically all you have to do to do some practice is right click copy the image and then you want to make a new document so go to file new and just create a new document and hit control V to paste it in. So we're going to be going over the first version to do this. This is the most complicated way and uh, it has some customized abilities but um, the second one's a lot easier. So what do you want to do right away is go to image on the top and click on mode. Now I'm sure a lot of you have clicked on this to put your um, Photoshop to RGB or CMYK, but instead we're going to go to grayscale on the top. You don't have to flatten it, but you're basically going to be stuck with this anyway. So just flatten your image and then go to image once again, mode, and now duotone is going to be able to be clicked on. So just click that, and then there's going to be this little custom options that pop up. Now with these colors, you can grab any single one of them. Now it does say the presets, now they do have some presets you guys can go through. If you want to go and make your own custom one, go to the top and click default. Go to type right here, and this is when you're going to see monotone, duotone, tritone, and quadtone. Quad is 4, tri is 3, duo is 2, mono is 1. I hope you guys all know what that is. So to mess with colors, you always want to click the first one. And you always want to have one bright color and one dark color. Now the reason behind this is because if you have two bright colors, just such as we go with this high pink, and we're going to put like a high green, it's going to be very hard to see and it's going to start to white out the image. But let's just say we put this to a dark blue. You can see that it starts to look more like an image and have that duo tone on top of it. Now colors that look really well together are complementary colors and anal excuse me, analogous colors. So really focus on what you want to use. Like I said, one bright color and one dark color. The top color on your duotone options is always going to be the one taking over everything else compared to the other one. So let's just say we're going to go with this nice blue. We can click on the second ink and we're going to put it to green. So now that you have that, you can click OK and then click on these curves right here. And this can mess with really 
everything else. Now you can't preview it all the time when you're doing this. It's just it's kind of annoying, but you can mess with the curves. So that's the first version to do it. I personally do not like doing it that way. I think that it's a little bit out of hand. It's a little bit too much. So if you really paste that image right back in, and let's just go and copy it one more time. So you paste the image back in. What you want to do is go to image adjustments and click on black and white. So you can just click OK on the default and then you're going to go right here to this adjustment tab in the bottom right hand corner next to your folder and click on gradient map at the bottom. Make sure you don't click gradient at the top above or below solid color. You want to make sure you click gradient map at the bottom. Now the reason behind this is this is going to take over the whole entire image. The first thing you want to do after this is click on reverse. It's going to basically flip the colors so that the black is in the um, shadows and the darker parts and the lighter gray is going to be in everything else. Click on your colors right here on the left and then you can start messing with colors again. Now I personally like this a lot more because I think there's a lot more customizability in it that you can really mess with different kind of color schemes. So let's say we can do this blue and we can go right here to this black and we're going to make it like a purple. Now you can see that it's a lot easier and you have a lot more um, kind of range of motion to do things with so that's one way you can of course um, click it you guys can basically mess with the color all you want you can put it to just stay straight up white and it's really fun to do it's really fun to mess with but there's also a few different other ways to do this now I'm gonna delete this gradient map to show you guys another way that I've seen people do it now I personally am not a fan of this however it's the same thing you can click on this adjustment tab but once again and click on gradient and you're going to click right here on top of the gradient, click the one on the top left from foreground to background. And we're going to change the color, let's just say to a blue and the last color to like a nice purple. Now these colors do not need to be dark and light. They can both be a very saturated color. Click OK and you can change the angle to zero if you want. So it's going from left to right. And then you can click right here on normal and you guys can put it to like screen or you can just basically put on color burn and hit right on your keyboard a bunch of times until you find something you like. Now this is definitely one way to do it. I personally am not a fan of this because it's not really the traditional duo tone. This is basically just having a gradient over the screen. So now that we have our duo tone picked out that we want to use, if we want to add something cool to it, let's just say for a desktop wallpaper, I personally like dragging in, let's just say my logo or anything that has a lot of geometric lines in it that are going to be really cool to kind of add a texture to it. So let's just say we're going to make this a little bit smaller. And we're going to put it in the corner and make sure it's above everything else. Now this is very key because you don't want the color gradient maps to take over the logo. Put the fill to zero, right click blending options and just put a simple stroke on it of like white. And then you can put the blend mode to like soft light or something like that. You can put that in the corner, hit control J. If you want, you guys can shrink the next one and put it to the top right here. And then you basically have a little cool wallpaper to mess with. Now duotones are really fun, really easy to do. You guys can mess with it all you want. Like I said guys, I made a bunch of different examples just using gradient maps, using gradient fills and stuff like that. And if you guys did like this video, let me know. I'm going to leave in the description below a few different color schemes that I like. And then I'm also going to be working on a preset pack that you guys can download with Photoshop Actions. So let me know if you guys want to see that very soon or very whenever you guys basically want. Like I said, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's very fast, very easy, and it's very fun to do. And other than that, guys, that's all I have for today's video. Just make sure to keep liking my videos, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you guys in a later on video. Peace out.